Second video, the first one, uh, I was telling you about the side engines, gave you an overview, and this is the second part of the video that I mentioned. This one's going to go into more in-depth of side engine. I'm going to show you the features and the settings that I believe are most beneficial to you in terms of changing and helping you uh, making your phone just better overall. Sorry if my screen is shiny again. I ordered a screen, screen protector from Crazy Digital, and they never sent the right version. They sent me the GSM version. So I will never again order from Crazy Digital. But let's get right to it. Signage and settings. That's where they're all going to be. And the first thing I want to talk about is the input. So input settings. The most, uh, I guess, and the most interesting thing in this one are the show a recent app title. Default Android, you can only show eight when you hold the home button down. And usually you just see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But if you go into here and number of recent apps, I have mine on 12. So instead of just having the eight, 12 of mine are going to show up, the most recent apps. And you can go ahead and increase it even more and make it 15 if you want to. So next, the search key behavior. So a lot of times, like I have two batteries. So when I swap out my batteries, a lot of times I have to set the defaults again and I hate doing that sometimes but what this enables you to do so let's say you want your search button to always make up a Google search come up if you go ahead and select your custom map and make it Google search it will always be Google search no matter what you hit or you can make it happen to any other app that you want and also you can also set the long press so if I long press this it will ask me to do uh, voice search so that's always nice. Instead of having to, uh, instead of having not doing it. And the next, the last one in this one is the volume control. If you have this one checked while you're listening to a song, and let's say you want to skip to the next song or fast forward it, instead of changing the volume, what this does is, uh, if you check mark that, you can use the volume buttons to go fast forward and rewind through a track. It's pretty cool. But in addition to that, if you don't want to change it, but you still want to change the track without having to go into the actual music app, what you can do is go to your display, or I'm sorry, your interface, and then go to Notification Power Widget. And what you can do is add your Play, Rewind, and Fast Forward buttons, so that way they're easily accessible. And another thing I'll say is I would uncheck this hide scroll bar because a lot of times um, default it's hidden. And you don't know that, I, at least I didn't know when I first got it, that you can have more than six icons in here. Like you see me scrolling. And I didn't notice that the scroll bar popped up, as you can see right there. And you have a whole other set of icons there. So that's why I say I would uncheck the high scroll bar as a reminder that you always have more. So it's kind of cool no matter what app you're in, listening to music, you can always play and stop and fast forward and rewind. And the next one is the power prompt. So a lot of times you're going to be flashing new stuff. Let's say you want to flash a new ROM or you want to flash a new file that you found. Instead of having to do the manual way of having to, at least on this phone, it's hold the power button and hold the volume down button that'll get you into the recovery mode so let's say you want to re go recovery mode just straight from here if you have the option checked when you do reboot it will do give you right there you want to boot into recovery or you want to use the bootloader that way you don't have to go into uh, ROM manager or you don't have to do it manually or by shutting your phone off you can just do it straight from there The refill after pinch. So if you don't have this checked, 
Well, I'll uncheck it for you just so you can see. And I'll uncheck that. And then let's go to the browser. And actually, of course, I would go to where else? The tech temple. Now, what reflow is, is when you double tap and the, the words rearrange themselves so they can fit on your screen again after you've been zoomed in, that's what the reflow is. I believe default, it's unchecked. So let's say you have an, uh, you got some text, right? You can't read it, you want to zoom in. And automatically moves moves back to like here. See, it, it didn't move back. I zoomed in, and there's words off the screen I can't see. But if you go back to the settings and you check reflow after pinch, go back to the browser. You saw it. See it reflowed. I can zoom in still and it'll make it so I can read it line by line. So that's the important thing, reflow after pinch. And while we're talking about the browser, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these settings. Enable incognito mode. That's the same thing like you have on Internet Explorer, you have on Firefox. It won't keep your passwords or your history, so you can go ahead and it's kind of like private browsing. And if you go into the settings, if you don't, for some reason, you don't like Google as your default search, you can select the search engine. Let's say you have Bing. You can use Bing, Yahoo, or Google. And those are those settings I was going to show you guys. And another one is full screen. What full screen does is it takes off the notification bar so you can view more of the web page. And another thing is the visual zoom control. I don't believe you need visual zoom control on because I'll show you. It's already a touch screen. Who needs to have this in the way? I don't need the option to press this plus or minus. And I'm pretty sure you don't need it either because you can use your fingers. I, I know that I can double tap. I know I can do this to zoom in more and more and more. So uncheck that one. And back to the settings. So I showed you the reflow already. And over scroll effect. So if you see my window or my, you see the green as I bounce up and down. Let, letting you know you got to the top of a page or the bottom of a page. Now if you don't want it to highlight green, you can go ahead and take the uh, over scroll effect and you can just have it um, bounce or you can have it not either do neither one of them if you don't want it to. But I prefer, I think it's a kind of a cool effect. And speaking of the green, yours might be orange right now. And what's nice about uh, CyanogenGen is that it comes with themes now. So what themes enable you to do are to change your color. So like if you look right here, my icons are they're kind of more green than they would be with the stock. If you look here on my uh, these are grayed out instead of orange. And how do you get that? Is you go to it should be already built into your ROM if you have CyanogenGen. It's called Theme Chooser. And right now I have on this Androidian, which makes everything green, like my menus and everything are green. The default one is right here, and you can make it blue, or you can also go to the market and download other themes. So I just pick green because we all know the Android's green. 
I don't know why they pick orange to have in the menus, but um, you can see I have green as some of the selection colors. Like when you select something, it turns green.